Hello everybody, Scully here from Blue Coconut Family and welcome back to City Skylines. Today we're going to be continuing our look at the Mass Transit DLC. And I'm afraid this is our last transit option within the DLC. Uh, but it is probably one of the more cooler ones. Less practical, but more cool. It is airships. Now, who doesn't want an airship in their city? Most people. Cool. Um, so... An airship is very cool to look at, not very practical I think, but it's quite cool. And it's very simple, it works very similar to how they've done the ferries where you create two ports, you create a link between the two, you create an airways, and then the, then the airship will travel between the two, landing at both and transporting people. So best way to demonstrate how this works is I'm going to set up another link from my industrial area to our new suburban area on the other side of the river. So it's very cool, very easy to do, and of course, as always in these things, you come under the transport icon, and then you come under the planes, even though it's not a plane, it's an airship, ignore. So we've got three new uh, constructible buildings, technically the last one's not a building, but oh well, and then of course the tool, so a blimp line. So we have the blimp depot, we have got the blimp stop. And we have got the blimp pathway. So lots of blimps. Okay. So what you need to do is this blimp depot is where the blimps come from. So we place this somewhere where the blimps can come from. So I'm going to place that there. Now this small little node here is very important. That's where the blimps will be coming out of. And that needs to be connected to all um, blimp pathways in order to service blimps and allow the blimps to have a blimp on them if that makes sense it's kind of like the depot of the buses but you need to connect it to the road or the blimp pathway for a blimp to travel so next you need to create the blimp stop so we're going to, these are pretty large i'm not going to lie guys these are huge so i'm going to create one just about here i think and we can see that that has a blimp node on it as well well it has two technically and we'll connect those up in a second. Then over here, guys, we're going to place another blimp stop. So we're just going to place this. Hmm, let me find a decent spot for it first. I think we're going to have the same issue with the road again. So we're going to place it here. Okay. There we go. Place that there, and now we can connect them up. So you can see that we can connect up. Now this is very not restricted the only way it's restricted our city limits because it's a blimp it flies in the air so it's not restricted by height limits of uh, buildings uh, pylons boats the monorail track the uh, cable car track it is not restricted at all so if we want another one guys we could just place one over here and we could tr transport between two but we're not going to need to do that guys we're just going to transport between here and across here into this blimp stop and we're going to have this one connect up across here so these can be as unmessy un 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 as possible just so it looks a little bit nicer guys you know you can create it untidy and it just literally from point A to point B but of course guys this is going to be where your blimps are traveling so place it somewhere where it will look nice at, for your blimp to travel across so I've got mine just north of the dam just so it goes across there now once you've done that guys of course no uh, blimps are going to be traveling or no airships are going to be traveling because you haven't created the line so how you create the line you click you click in the one place and you click in the other place and then you click back to your last place and that creates a line then guys you see your blimps are now coming out of the depot so I think I will only have one blimp on this line because of the distance and the amount of stations, but that's no worries. Once that is in, once that is in place, you'll now start seeing the blimp arriving. So here we go. So the blimp is now arriving. It's lovely and purple. Is anybody waiting? Yeah, we've got a few people waiting. And once it's landed. We will then see these people embark onto the blimp. One person going. Apparently, there's one person on it, but there's nobody 
on there. Oh no, he's still sitting there. Nobody's on this blimp. That's fine. What about the other end? Oh, there seems to be quite a few people this end waiting for the blimp to arrive. So here it comes. So you can see guys, it's just starting to lose some altitude because it does stay a certain height above the ground so that when the ground dropped there for river it went down as well uh, it's a little bit turbulent up there so I would not like to be in that blimp right now that is uh, pretty pretty chaotic thinking how small that little passenger area is and that how much that was rocking that was pretty horrible but that's fine so once it comes into land we'll see everybody get on it and then it'll travel back landed people get on so we've got 10 passengers on it now and then it'll fly back so guys this is a very good way of making people uh, travel around your city uh, what, like I said it's not overly practical just because of the size of these these to me are a little bit too big yeah, I understand how big the blimp is or how big the airship is, but these are huge. These, you know, for scale-wise, let me take, um, you know, it's roughly about the same size as the university. That's not, that's a big building in itself. So let me show this. So there's the university, there's the blimp. It's nearly as big as the university. That is huge. It is really big. Um, let's take in comparison to against other things. There's the cargo hub, so it's just like it's more than cargo hub, and even that was a big building, um, and all sorts of other stuff. Yeah, so bus hub, yeah, it's smaller than bus hub, but it's just huge for a stop. You know, yeah, I'm showing you stops and stuff which are bigger. I'm showing you depots and stuff which are bigger, but the depots you can understand being big. You can understand those being big. But these, this is a stop. This is a single stop. So if you want multiple in your city, that's going to take up a large footprint. A very large footprint. You can you can get on the community market stations that are smaller for trains. But uh, I don't know. It's, it's 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 a cool it's a cool mode of transport, and it's very useful, and it adds an extra. Uh, kind of depth into the world of having a blimp in the sky so that's quite cool but anyway guys that's the blimp tutorial or the airship tutorial hope it's been useful for you if it has hit that like button um, and of course if you like any of the other videos in my series of city skylines and find that they might be useful for, for you hit that subscribe button you'll be the first person to know when a new video comes out i've been scotty from a blue coconut family i wish you a very good day and i'll see you guys on the next video bye